to measure bi parietal or head diameter in a foetus, you need to bring the skull into view and find the parietal bones, which are bright white on ultrasound. I'm not going to go into scan technique in this video because we teach this extensively on our courses and you can check this out in the description below. But once you've found your image, you've optimized it, then you should try to look for the midline down the center of the skull and preferably, if you've got a good quality scanner, the two hemispheres of the brain. Then you know you're in the right place. Try to save at least three examples that you can measure from. If you save only one, whether due to that particular fetus or your own scan technique, that may not be representative of the entire litter. For cats, there are several published calculations. Paul Wilson of Animal Ultrasound in Doncaster and I have been working together on this. And we have found that the best formula for biparietal diameter in cats is the head diameter measurement in millimetres minus 23.39 divided by 0 0.47. To perform a biparietal diameter or head diameter measurement on a cat, we get the skull on screen exactly the same way as we do with a dog. So this is the front of the head, this is the back of the skull here. The midline is down here and the two hemispheres of the brain here. Get our distance calipers. And you can ignore the gestational age calculations because these would be for a canine. And we're just going to move over and select distance. Place the first caliper on the black white boundary here and then the second set of crosshairs on the other side just here. We have a measurement of 1.46 centimetres. I'm going to save that and then I'm going to go to another image and repeat this measurement. You should always take the mean of all the measurements you have performed and remember that for this calculation it must be in millimetres. So in the example we've just looked at where we measured the head diameter at 1.46 centimetres, we're going to put this in in millimetres, so 14.6 millimetres. Remember you do brackets first, so you're going to do 14.6 minus 23.39. If you're using a calculator, be sure to press the equals button first before dividing point by 0 0.47. In this particular example, you're going to get an answer of 18.7. So that's minus 18.7 means 18.7 days before she's due to give birth. So remember, this does not give you the gestational age. It gives you the days before the due date. Of course, you can work out the gestational age by just deducting it from the normal length of pregnancy in cats, which is generally accepted to be 65 days. It's important to make sure the pet owner understands that any estimated due date that you give them is only an estimate, and it can easily be two days either side of that date, and that would still be well within the normal range. Also, as with everything in ultrasound, your own accuracy and reproducibility is key. Make sure you have undertaken the highest quality training and that you have access to an ultrasound mentor to whom you can send your images for feedback when you first begin practicing your measurements, well before you start giving answers to clients. If you scan dogs as well, the calculation is slightly different. I can go over this in future or feel free to contact me if you need more help with this. If you scan goats, I'm afraid there is no one calculation you can use. There is so much breed variation, but check out the link in the description below that brings you to a goat gestational age calculator where you can perform the measurement yourself, choose your breed or the closest one to the breed that you have, and it will give you your estimated due date. If you enjoyed this video and would like to learn more, please check out all the links in the description below. They'll bring you to our training courses, to books and to other resources. And please don't forget to like and to subscribe to the Animal Ultrasound Association YouTube channel.